<laughs> All right, so I will read the answer and you read the, uh, sorry, I will read the exercise and you read the answer, okay? Now, number one, we will definitely prevent malaria by 2050. I'm so I will be prevent malaria by 2050. Number two, people will probably grow taller in the future. It is likely that people will grow taller in the future. Number three, the earth probably won't cool down in the next 50 years. It is unlikely that the earth will be cooled down in the next 50 years. Number four, there definitely won't be a colony on Mars in my lifetime. I am sure there won't be the colony on Mare in my lifetime. Number five, in the future, it might be possible to fly from New York to Tokyo in less than two hours. We might uh, fly from New York to Tokyo in the less than two hours. Number six, it is likely that oil reserves run out by 2050. Our reserve will probably uh, to run out by 2050. Okay, number seven. It is unlikely that we will find intelligent life on another planet. We probably won't find intelligent life um, on another planet. Okay, number eight. Print newspapers may disappear. It is possible that print newspapers will disappear. Number nine, it is possible that possible there will be a direct train line between the UK and China by 2000. There might a uh, direct, there might be the, a direct train line between the UK and China by 2100. Okay, I am sure cars will become hand free. Car will um, definitely come hand free, become hand free. Okay, thank you very much. So right now uh, we continue to the next one. All right, so the next one with this, all right, exercise six on page 32. Listen to three young professionals, talk about their future, make a note of the answer to the questions in the table. So you need to write the answer in the table here, all right? So there are three person. The first one, Yolanda. The second one, Dimitri. And the last one, Haruka. And the way you answer the question, we need to, you need to write only short answer like this. Like we have three questions for them. Will you buy your own house or apartment? Probably one. Meaning to say that Yolanda said, Yolanda probably won't buy her own house or apartment. How about the Dimitri? Definitely will, or is unlikely, is possible, may or may, you can put, right? And Haruka. And question number two, will you have more than one child? Okay, the answer for Yolanda, Dimitri. And number three, will you work until you are 70, 70 years old? Okay, so now I will play the tape for you. I will play for two times. So listen and complete the, 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 the table here. If you don't have textbook, you can write your answer in your notebook. So here we go. Let's start. I will play two times. 3.2. So Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now, and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So I probably won't buy a house. How about you, Dimitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about 10 years' time. But it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better, 
Others are sure it will get worse, so it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dmitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. And you, Haruka? We'll definitely have more than one child, but I'm working now and I'm still young, so I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up fast. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. People expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation, but I'd like to finish work before I'm 65, so it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. Okay, so now we、we'll、listen again. 3.2. So, Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now, and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So, I probably won't buy a house. How about you, Dmitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married, and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about 10 years' time. But it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better, others are sure it will get worse. So it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dmitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. And you, Haruka? We'll definitely have more than one child, but I'm working now and I'm still young, so I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up fast. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. People expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation, but I'd like to finish work before I'm 65. So it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. Okay, thank you very much. So, right now we can check the answer. But please wait for me a moment, right?、Uh, the director just called me. Wait a moment, please. So okay, now let's check the answer together. Now, will you buy your own house or apartment, Dimitri? What is it? Hmm. Hello. 大家好 ，Why you put in in the tag like? 
Nine and fifty. No, fifty, thirty. Oh, nine thirty. Yeah, you put. I did not say. I did not say nine ten. No, we start. Uh, two, two second session at nine and thirty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh. That's why. Yes. I typing it. mistake. That's why I I. I, I I don't know why why it's just only a few students in the class. <laughs> that is my mistake. Sorry. Yeah, teacher. So yeah, five more minutes. So should we wait for them again? Yeah, we so teacher. Okay, they so five know. more minutes. Five more minutes. I'm gonna play the tape for you again. All right? Yeah. Oh, I said nine and ten, but when I write nine thirty. <laughs> Crazy am I? <laughs> All right. I did not notice that because I am alone in the office here, and uh, some students they come. I have to do a lot of job and uh, teaching you as well. So sometimes I did not check it properly. Normally I check, you know, my message and everything. But <laughs> okay, uh, five more minutes. We gonna play the tape again for you. So sorry for that, everyone.
Okay. Okay, now time is up, all right, everyone. <laughs> but uh, still, there are only certain students in the class. You see, other students still not yet joined. So can we start right now, everyone? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I will play the tapes two more times for you, so you can listen and complete the answer. All right, thank you. Here we go. 3.2. So, Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now, and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So, I probably won't buy a house. How about you, Dimitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about 10 years time. But it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better. Others are sure it will get worse. So it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family. But I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dimitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. And you, Haruka? We'll definitely have more than one child. But I'm working now and I'm still young, so I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up fast. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. People expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation, but I'd like to finish work before I'm 65. So it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. Okay, so let's listen again. All right, one more time. 3.2. So, Yolanda, do you think you'll ever buy a house or apartment? Well, I'm living with my parents right now, and I'm trying to save enough money to rent my own apartment. Most people where I live rent. Property is so expensive. So I probably won't buy a house. How about you, Dimitri? It's the same situation in my country. Houses are too expensive. For me, a house costs 10 times my salary for one year. So I don't think I'll be able to afford a house until I'm in my 40s. I'm 25 now, so that's a long time to wait. But who knows? It's possible. And what do you think, Haruka? I'm married and my partner and I are saving to buy a house. So we might have enough money in about 10 years time. But it depends on house prices. They may go up or down. No one really knows. It's the same with the economy. Some people think it will get better. Others are sure it will get worse. So it's really hard to plan anything long term. How about family? Do you have any plans? I want to have a family, but I probably won't have more than one child. These days, it's very expensive to have children. Education, clothes, food, everything costs a lot of money. How about you, Dimitri? I love kids, but I don't think I'll have a family. And you, Haruka? We'll definitely have more than one child. But I'm working now and I'm still young. So I probably won't have a baby just yet. Also, I'll probably quit work when I have a family, so I need to save up fast. Will you go back to work? It's unlikely. 
people expect you to look after your family and for the husband to have a career. How long do you think your husband will work for? Probably till he's 65. I'll probably work till I'm 70. I'm sure you'll be rich and famous before then. As for me, it will depend on our financial situation, but I'd like to finish work before I'm 65, so it's unlikely I'll work till I'm 70. Okay, so now we can check the answer together. Uh, Yolanda probably won't buy her house, right? And how about Dimitri? Hello, some student already listened for four times. So, so what is it? It doesn't matter. What is it? It possible. It possible. Yes, it possible. Okay, how about Haruka? My. My. How about the the other student? Do you have different answer? Now, what did I just say? My. How about other student? My as well. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, number two. Will you have more than one child, Yolanda? Probably one. Probably one. Okay, very good. How about Dimitri? Hello, can you help me please? Probably one, two, two. Probably one. This one definitely one. This one um, probably one, twenty five percent, right? But definitely one zero percent. So he may have only one child. How about Haruka? Definitely well. Definitely well. Okay, thank you. So he may see she's definitely she will definitely have more than one child. OK, so now how about uh, the third question? Will you work until you are 70? Unlikely. OK, this one is unlikely. How about Dimitri? Hello, guys. Probably, pro, probably will. Probably will. How about Haruka? Okay. Hello. <laughs> no answer. All right. You don't have answer. So let me give me you the answer. Okay. It's unlikely. So these are the short answer to the questions from Yolanda, Dimitri, and Haruka. So the way we answer the question, just probably one, probably one, unlikely, whatever. Okay, now it is your job. Uh, okay, so I will not play the video just yet. Just go to this exercise first, all right? So when we finish this exercise, we can go to the to watch the video. Or you want to watch the video first? what the video first, right? OK, so this video it is about the modern city in Iraq. OK, you can watch and I think you may get some uh, interesting ideas how innovative they are right? in building a new city for the people in the country. OK, now here we go. I will play one time only for you. So just watch it. Here we go. What will life be like in the future? Where will we live? How will we travel? In the United Arab Emirates, they're building a new city that might answer some of these questions. Mazdar is a walled city 17 kilometers from Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. 
British architects Foster and Partners designed the city and the Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company is in charge of the Mazdar project. They both believe the city shows us what life is likely to be like in the future. They say that the city will probably become a major business hub. It will have excellent amenities, state-of-the-art buildings and integrated infrastructure. In fact, there are already several global institutes in the city. There's the International Renewable Energy Agency and the Mazdar Institute of Science and Technology. The city's planners think that in the future, around 40,000 people may live in Mazdar. Another 50,000 people will probably commute from other areas of the United Arab Emirates. Mazdar is in a very hot location, but the city's design will keep it cool. The streets will be narrow, so they will funnel like breezes, and there will always be shade from the surrounding buildings. There probably won't be any cars either, so there won't be any heat from traffic pollution. Visitors to Mazdar will have to leave their cars outside the city's walls and take public transport. They'll take the personal rapid transport system. This system will use small pods. People will get into a pod in one of the city's stations, choose their destination on a touchscreen and travel along these magnetic tracks. The design will be safe, easy to use and good for the environment. But most people will travel on foot. The city will be designed to encourage walking. There will be lots of stairs and there won't be many lifts. And because it is unlikely that there will be any cars, there will be lots of space for pedestrians. The city will be clean, green and energy efficient. The Abu Dhabi Future Energy Company won't complete the project until after 2025, but they are sure the city will be a great place to work and to live. Okay, so this is uh, is being built, you know, in Arabi, Arai, Emirat. So let's continue our lesson. Um, I just want to go back to this slide, and I just want you to to get your attention on uh, the questions here. And the question here is, will you buy your own house or apartment? So the answer, short answer here, is probably one. It's possible. It might. So what we're gonna do with uh, the next one, exercise eight here is similar to uh, the exercise that we learned from the listening. So here we want you to choose five questions, but you don't need to choose five. You have to do all of them and um, make a note of them. Answer the question. So for example, this is question number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, seven. OK, uh, number one. In the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will live and work in the same building. Question number two, in the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online? School will only be for learning social skills. Number three, in the next hundred years, do you think travel to other countries will be limited to top business persons and celebrity? In the next hundred years, do you think most people will live in the city? In, city? in the next hundred years, do you think all cities will have free wireless connectivity. In the next 100 years, do you think food will be produced in factories? The countryside will be used only for laser activity. And the last one, do you think travel using carbon-based transport will be banned? OK, uh, Mr. Dara, I want you to read the question again for your friends. Oh, the rice is not available. So I will call Manay. Manay, read again, please.
Oh. Okay. How about Watana? Can you read? Yeah, cha. Okay, please. When people will stop commuting, oh, no, no, they no. will leave. Hello? Sorry, Watana, can you read in a form of question just like I did for you? In the next yeah, hundred years, do you uh, think people... In the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will like, live and work in the same building. Uh, in the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online school will only be for learning social skills? In the next hundred years, do you think travel to other country will be limited to top business people and celebrities? Celebrity. In the next hundred years, do you think more people will live in city? In the next hundred years, do you think all city will have free ride less con connectivity? In the next hundred years, do you think food will be produced in factory? The con countryside will be used only for leisure activity. In the next hundred years, do you think travel using carbon bus? transport will be banded. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, right now I want you to uh, answer the question, but follow this style. You can answer in a short form like this, okay? Or it's okay to, un to write the answer in a long form uh, one. You can, for example, number one, if I ask you in a hundred, in the next hundred years, do you think people will stop com commuting, I mean traveling? They will live and work in the same building. So you can answer, it is unlikely that people will stop commuting. Or you can say, it is possible people will stop commuting. Or you can say, people definitely will stop commuting. Is it okay, everyone? Hello? Oh, what happened to you guys today? No one answer the questions. Hello? Is it okay for you to do this exercise now? Yeah. Okay. If then I give you around six minutes to do it. All right. And please write the answer in the notebook. We will check the answer together at 9.54. Okay. I will call some of you to uh, read out your, your answer. Okay, thank you very much. Please do it right now.
Okay, so now let's check the answer together. Now we can start. I would like to ask uh, the line. Let's start with the line. In the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will live and work in the same building? Yeah, what happens? Okay, Marie. Can you answer question number one? Oh, can you hear me, everyone? Hello? Yes, sir. Ah, you must have heard me. Why, what happened? Okay, so I will call uh, Li Ming. Li Ming, in the next 100 years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will live and work in the same building? Uh, in the next hundred year, uh, oh, did you write the answer in your notebook? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Number one. Oh, it's impossible. <laughs> I mean, you did not do it. Okay. So it's Dara, like, yeah. Uh. It's unlikely that people will stop communicate commuting and they will live in they will live and work in the same building in the next okay. year. It is unlikely that people will stop commuting, right? Commuting. Okay, thank you very much. Your answer is acceptable. But please, uh, please uh, follow my instruction. I give you six minutes to uh, to write your answer in your notebook. So you can practice writing, not just listening. Okay? All right, um, Dara, number two, in the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online? School will only be for learning social skills. Uh, in the next hundred years, uh, it's definitely that children will learn online. School will only be for learning social skills. Again, please. In the next hundred years, it definitely that children will learn online. School will only be for learning social skills. 
Okay, you make mistake. Uh, if you use definitely, not it's definitely. If you do definitely, you should say like this. In the next hundred year, children uh, will definitely learn online. Stu school will only be for learning social skill. Okay, Dada? Yes, sir. For uh, we use it is it's with unlikely, likely, and possible only. Just remember that. And you can uh, have a look at this here. Note the structure used with likely, unlikely, and possible. We have only the three things here. The rest we don't use like that. Okay. So let's continue with uh, Manite number three, please. In the next hundred years, do you think travel to other country will limit will be limited to top business people and celebrity? Um. I think that in the next no, bad, 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 bad. number three, right? Uh, travel to an. I think that it is unlikely that travel to another country will be limited to top business people and celebrities. Okay, very good. It is unlikely that travel to other countries will be limited to top business people and celebrities. If you use unlikely, likely, or possible, you don't need to change the sentence. You keep the same thing, all right? Okay, so then we go to Chan Chanlika, number four, please. Uh, in the next hundred years, do you think most people will live in cities? Okay. All right, now I cannot hear from Chanlika. How about Bupa? Number four, in the next hundred years, I think uh, it will possible. It will possible. The, the, it's, it's possible. Most, uh, most people. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it will probably. Most people will probably live in city. It will probably. Most people will live in the city. Did you do this one? Did you write it in your notebook? No, I just uh, write in short answer. Oh, so. Then you make mistake. You say it will probably. So your answer and Mr. Dara answer the same. Remember when you say it will, it probably, it will probably here. We use with only likely, unlikely and possible. It is likely, it is unlikely, it is possible. Only with likely, unlikely and possible. But will definitely here, we don't say it anymore. So you, what your answer here, if you want to say it uh, probably, you, for, for number four here, you just say most people will probably live in city. Can you get it, Bukpa? Yes, sir. Uh, you can see this exercise here. People will probably grow taller in the future. Now, if you want to use the two style here, the same meaning, but the different style. It is likely that people will this one no probably anymore because it was likely here already. Okay, so please learn from the exercises when you have free time. Otherwise, you, you are making the same mistake over and over again. Okay, number five. Number five, I would like to call. Okay, for this one, number five, Suchita. In the next hundred years, do you think all cities will have free wireless connectivity? Yes, I um, all city will probably have the free wireless connectivity. Very good. Thank you very much. OK, number six. In the next hundred years, do you think food will be produced in factories? The countryside will be used only for less activity. Okay, so this one, Bonhei. Uh, 
Okay, so Mr. Lee Hua, can you do number six? Lee Tao Hua. Uh, number six. Uh, food will be produced in factory. The countryside will be used only for leisure activity. Can you read again, please, your answer? Mm. Oh, just read again. Just read your answer again. Uh, food will be produced in factory. The country. Oh, you just read. You just read. You just read this one then. That I is not I, your answer. Number six. I don't know too much. You don't know. Uh, that's okay. Not not. Uh, I just want you to practice uh, using the phrases that we learn from here. It is necessary to be a correct, you know, answer. If you use the correct grammar structure here, then that is okay. Uh, yes. Number one until number seven, the same. You can use the same phrases. So you can say it is unlikely food will be produced in factory. Also, no problem. You can say food will definitely be produced in factory. Also, no problem. Food will be probably produced in factory. Food, right? Probably won't be produced in factory. Also, no problem. Any answer is okay. I just want you to practice the grammar focus that you learn. Okay, thank you very much. Number seven. Um, Number seven, I don't know who I should call because when I call, you don't answer the questions and you just keep quiet, maybe because of your internet. Okay, I will call Suchita again for number seven, please. Uh, in the next hundred years, do you think travel using carbon based transport will be banned? Uh, yes, travel using carbon based transport will probably be ban will probably be banned. You forget B. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Will probably be banned. All right. Thank you very much. All right now I want you to practice as and answer the questions. So Dara, I want you to ask the questions and um Sujita, please answer the question from number one until number seven. Okay. In the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting? They will live and work in the same building um people um, will probably stop communicating commuting um commuting they will uh, live and work in the same building in the next hundred years do you think children will learn online school will only be for learning social skills It un it unlikely um children children will uh will might learn online. Go will only be for learning social skill. In in a hundred years. Do you think travel other country will be limited to top business people will uh, and celebrities? Um, travel to other country will be identif um, identif uh, will identified. 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 I don't definitely, yes. Oh, definitely Big, uh, not I don't, not, not I don't, definitely. Uh, definitely a uh, limit to top uh, business people and celebrity. In the next hundred years, do you think more people will live in the cities? Um, most people will probably live in the city. In the next hundred years, do you think our city will have free wireless connectivity? Uh, 
our city will probably have free wireless connectivity. In the next hundred years, do you think food will be produced in first storage? This countryside will be used for this activity. It's unlikely uh, produced in factory, and the countryside will be used uh, only for the lesser activity. In the next hundred years, do you think travel using carbon bus transport will be banned? Um, tra travel using carbon bus um, transport will probably be, uh, probably be banned. Okay, thank you very much. Now I want to practice with one more piece, but this time I will be part of it. Okay, Manite, I want you to read the questions and I am reading the answer for you. Okay, teacher. Um, people will stop commuting. They will live in. They will live and work in the same building. I am sure. No, you. I, I want you to read the question. In the next hundred years, do you think? Okay. Oh. Uh, in the next hundred years, do you think people will stop commuting and they will live and work in the same building? I am sure people will stop commuting. They will live and work in the same building. Uh, and in the next hundred years, do you think children will learn online? School will be only for learning social skills? Uh, children will definitely learn online. School will only be for learning social skills. And about in the next hundred years, do you think travel to another country will be limited to the top? Disney people and celebrities. It is unlikely that travel to other country will be limited to top business people and celebrities. Mm, and do you think in the next hundred years most people will live in the city? Uh, most people will definitely live in cities. And um, do you think all city will? have free wireless connectivity in the next hundred years? It is unlikely that all cities will have free wireless connectivity. Do you think food will be product in factories? The countryside will be used only for luxurious activity in the next hundred years? Okay, food definitely won't be produced in factory the countryside will be used the countryside definitely won't be used only for laser activity okay and do you think travel using carbon bus transport will be banned in the next hundred years i am sure travel using carbon ban bus transport will be banned okay thank you very much everyone if you really want to practice uh, this exercise, you want to make yourself perfection with this, and uh, you can watch rewatch the video, uh, the recording video, and please practice doing this exercise more and more. Uh, you can redo this exercise again without looking at the, uh, without looking at the chart here. Let's see how much you can do. If you can do all of them, you make a lot of progress. And you know this is important uh, lesson. Why it is important if you work in the international company, if you have to write, uh, you know, a plans, a report in English, you need to know how to make prediction. When you make predictions, you need to use these phrases. So these phrases can help you a lot to make your uh, report short because it tells you whether you think it's 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. You may have the same idea with the other people, but I mean the same I the same the same idea, the same direction, but you just okay, not 100%, 75%. Uh, that is important. And this is a skill for manager. If you want to become a manager, you need to be able to predict about the future. Okay, so that when you order some products, you want to buy something, you buy, you know, in the right hand and with the right amount. How can you make all the in the right times at the same amount? That is because you be able to make a good prediction. All right. If you cannot make a good predictions and then you cannot buy in the right amount and right uh, in the right time. 
Okay, so now let's go to the next one. Vocabulary, the speed of change. Describing cause and effect. So describing cause and effect. So the word cause here. Oh, what is it? Okay, cause here. Right, now we translate like this. And effect it is like this. All right, cause and effects. So we should know the cause and effect of something. Whatever you do, there will be cause and effects, right? You cannot do something without causes. You know, uh, some, you know, what example I give you, um, just give you example like, uh, uh, okay, one, one student just uh, sent me message said that, oh, sorry teacher, I really want to answer your questions, but uh, you know, I can only hear you, but when I press on turn on microphone, even I speak, uh, you cannot hear me because there are some problem with my phone. So now I give you example with that. Um, uh, I cannot, I can't uh, answer the question, right? Because my phone is error, for example, error, right? Okay, because my phone is error. Now I want you to look at this sentence. So what is the cause of the sentence? What is the cause? And what is the, the effects? So we have cause and effect. What is the cause? Phone error is cause and effect cannot answer. Yeah, so this is the cause. All right. Sorry. Oh, cannot write here. Oh, now I cannot use my, my to draw now. So wait a moment. Uh, okay, wow, well, not this one. Okay, cost. Okay, okay. This one is the cost, and this one is the effect. Correct. Right. So in your life, even in your study, a relationship, in your family, at your workplace, you should know the causes and effects. All right, why I am who I am, okay? Why I don't understand the lessons? Why I always late for the class? You know, you should know the causes, okay? Uh, why I am not a good student? Why I cannot get good marks from my teacher? Why I am lazy? So you should know which one is the cause and effect. Cause, effect, cause, effect, cause, effect. Okay, all right. I just give you a simple example with this one. In the company also the same thing. Why you become manager, right? Becoming a manager is the cause. Just give you an example, manager. You and your friends work in the same company, but your friend become manager. So manager here, you can see the E effect, right? So there are many causes that causes. So this cause, not only one causes. So the first cause, maybe he is very skillful. He has skill, right? He's a hardworking guy. Hardworking means you are not lazy, okay? He has good communication. He's never late for the, the work, all right? He always pay attention. So there are many things. There are many causes. And then he become a manager after working for one year as a as assistant so he become manager so manager here because he's a manager he can do a lot of things so he can do so cost he become effect here is is this one and cost here also can become uh sorry manager here so he become manager i just give you example so first this is these are the causes and he become manager so when he become manager he change himself right he become arrogant, you know, right? He's he's become uh, like uh, he become arrogant. He doesn't listen to other people, right? He doesn't come to work, right? Not punctual anymore. He's become lazy. His job. So now this effect become the cause again, right? And this cause this is this is the effect become effect. So. Effect become cause, cause become effects. Your life is like that. The same thing. Uh, the same thing, right? If you are lazy now, you don't join the class, you don't talk, you don't want to study, 
you don't want to study English because English is not important for you. Some of you are accounting, some of you study management. Okay, so uh, okay, so that's why I make you look, you poor at English. Your English is very poor. So you look at the cause here. What are the causes that make you poor? Okay, I don't want English. I don't want. All right. Okay. And then you said, okay, because I am lazy. Okay, I I don't join the start. I don't join the class every day or regularly. I did not do the exercise. Didn't do the exercise. So there are many things that you did not do. So that the, those things are, are cause. Are causes, all right? Those things are causes. You did not do. And now the result. Sorry. Where is it? And the result, you become poor at English. This is the effect. And this effects, and in the future, you get a job. Job, right? Your friend who can speak English get $1,000 per month. Per month. Okay? And you cannot speak English, you get only uh, $350 per month. As an accountant, just give you an example. Okay? You know, accountant in our school here, her salary is $1,200 per month. Accountant. So you may earn like that if you know how to speak English. Now, so your friend get this one and you get this one. Because your English is very poor. Now, in the past, English, poor at English is the effect. Now, this one become a cost, right? Become a cost and this is your result. You get $300 per month as a salary. So you should know that everyone everything it is just about cause and effect cause and effect cause and effect if you have good causes and then you have good effect good result and uh, no one is matter than anyone it is it, it just about you yourself work hard or not you make good causes or not if you make good causes you have good result okay so now let's look at question number one in what way has company technology changed your life so I just give you an example here. Nowadays, people can study or have a meeting together from every part of the com of of the world. So technology play a major role in communicate communications, especially pe now people see the the advantages of technologies during the COVID nineteen here. Right, we cannot come to school, we cannot go to any places, so we use technology to deal with the problems. Even electricity, right? Uh, paying the phone bills, paying the internet bills, okay? Pay the school fee. Any everything's now using technology, right? Banking system and other things. Okay, number two. Do you think the world is becoming more competitive? Why or why not? Okay, this is my answer. Sure, it is. People are becoming smarter and smarter, so they will. Definitely, so will definitely a hundred percent, right? For me, my prediction, I guess. Uh, you can, if you join, if you want to say, okay, only the one five percent, they will probably. But for me, a hundred percent, they will definitely fight for the price and becoming the leader of the the world. Okay, so now I want some student to practice reading this. So I would like to ask uh, Li Ming. I want you to read the questions and. I don't know who I should call you because it seems like your internet is very poor or what. I have to call the same student over and over again. So I will leave you read the questions and Manat, you read the answer. So one by one. Uh, number one, in what way has computer technology changed our life? Make a list. One, nowadays people can study and have a meeting together from every part of the world. Uh, number two, do you think the world is becoming more competitive? Why and why not? Sure, it is. People are becoming smarter and smarter. They will definitely fight for the bride and becoming the leader of the world. All right, thank you very much. Okay, let's read again. Uh, I read the question, Mr. Dara, you read the answer. Number one, in what ways has computer technology changed our lives? Now that people can study or having a meeting together from every part of the world. 
Okay, number two, do you think the world is becoming more competitive? Why or why not? Sure, it is because people are becoming smarter and smarter. They will definitely fight for the price and become the leader of the world. Okay, thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Okay, if you don't have questions, you continue to the next one. Okay, so the next one here, there are six questions. Uh, you have to to read the text here and answer the six question here, all right? But before we go to the reading, let read the question first. Number one, why did the king have to give the pilgrims so much rice? Number two, what is Moore's law? Number three, which has more memory, the computer on the first special tour or the a smartphone? Number four, why is it now quicker to analyze human genome? Number five, how many people now go to university in the UK and in Finland? Number six, why is research now published more quickly? Okay, Bopa, can you read the question again? Number one, why did the king have to give the pilgrim? Pilgrim. Yeah. Pilgrim, so much right. Number two, what is Moore's law? Number three, which has more memory, the computer on the first space, shuttle or a smartphone. Number four, why is it now quicker to analyze human genes? Why how many people now go to university in the UK and in Finland? Number six. Why is research now published more quickly? Quickly. Quickly, OK. okay uh, thank you very much, Bukpa. Now, in order to answer this question, you need to read this text, all right? But uh, I can play the tape for you. You can listen. Uh, let, let me go and find out first. Uh, where should I find that one? Wait a moment, please. I think I upload long time ago. Let's see. OK, I think 50 here. All right. Wait a moment. Oh. No more. OK, OK. Wow, a lot here. So there are many video here nowadays. OK, OK, so now let listen and you can read along quietly as well. Here we go. There is an Indian legend that goes like this. Once upon a time, a king challenged a pilgrim to a game of chess. The pilgrim agreed, but on one condition, if the king lost, he would put a single grain of rice on the first chess square and then double the amount on every square after that. The king lost and then discovered the price he had to pay. One grain on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, eight on the fourth, and so on. By the 64th square, the amount came to more than 18 quintillion grains of rice. A modern example of this type of growth is Moore's Law. This law says that the power of computer microchips doubles every 18 months. We can see the effects of this if we compare the space shuttle with the smartphone. The computer on the first space shuttle could process 400,000 instructions per second and had a memory of 424 kilobytes. A modern smartphone is over 35,000 times quicker and is over 33 million times more memory. These increases in computing power have caused scientific discovery to speed up. It took the Human Genome Project 13 years, from 1990 to 2003, to analyze the entire human genome. Due to faster computers, Scientists can now do this in a week. In the next decades, computers will equal the power of the human brain. This may result in the development of computers that are more intelligent than humans. The possible consequences of this are profound. The increasing speed of scientific discovery is also partly the result of larger social trends. In the 1960s in the UK, about 5% of young people went to university. Nowadays, 40% of people in the UK do a degree. Whilst in Finland, the number has reached 80%. Between 2000 and 2010, 
the number of students studying in universities abroad rose by 75%. Because of the increase in university students, more people now do research at a postgraduate level. This has created greater competition between research departments for funding. As a result, there is more pressure on scientists to publish their findings quickly. This new research leads to other new discoveries and, as a consequence, new technologies are developed more rapidly. The speed of change is hard to cope with because it means we need to keep learning and adapting. But we better get used to it, it's not going to slow down. Okay, uh, thank you very much. So this one, the listening I prepare for a long time, so you can go and visit uh, and practice it with it if you want. But I'm going to read for you again, okay? So let's read together one more time. The power of numbers. There is an Indian legend that goes like this. Once upon a time, a king challenged a pilgrim to a game of chess. The pilgrim agreed, but on one condition. If the king lost, he would put a single grain of rice on the first chess square and then double the amount on every square after that. The king lost and then discovered the price he had to pay. One grain on the first square, two on the second, four on the third, eight on the fourth, and so on. By the 64 square, the amount of rice came to then 18 quintillion grains of rice. A modern example of this type of growth is more law. This law says that the powers of computer microchips doubles every 18 months. But we, <clears throat> sorry, we can see the effect of this if we compare the special talk with a smartphone. The computer on the first special talk could process 400,000 instructions per second and had a memory of 424 kilobytes. A modern smartphone is over 35,000 times quicker than and has over 33 million times more memory. These increases in computing powers have caused scientific discovery to speed up. It took the human genome project, genome project 13 years from 1990 to 2003 to analyze the entire human genome. Due to faster computers, scientists can now do this in a week. In the next decades, computer will equal the power of human brain. Okay, and this result in the development of computer, they are more intelligent than human. The possible consequences of this are profound. The increasing speed of scientific discovery is also partly the result of larger social trends. In the 1960s, the UK, about 5% of young people went to university. Nowadays, 40% of people in the UK do the degree, whilst in Finland, the number has reached 80% between 2000 and 2010. The number of students studying in university abroad rose by 75%. Because of the increase in university students, more people now do research at a postgraduate level. This has created greater competition between research and departments for finding. As a result, there is more pressure on scientists to publish the finding quickly. This new research leads to other new discoveries and as a consequence, new technology are developed more rapidly. The speed of change is hard to cope with because it means we need to keep learning and adapting, but we better get used to it. It's going to slow down. It's not going to slow down. OK, guys, thank you very much for this. So I want you to practice reading this one by yourself. We may read this one more uh, next week, but I want you to answer this question here. Question, read this text and answer the question. All right. And I think you can have 10 minutes to read and answer this question. So we will check the answer together at 10.41. OK, everyone. For those who do not have textbook. OK, for those who do not have textbook, I am uh, sending the page to you guys. Uh, you can check it out on uh, your telegram. All right. Hello, can you do it in 10 minutes? Hello, everyone. 
Wow, can you hear me? Oh my God, what happened? Yeah, teacher. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so please answer the question in 10 minutes. We check the answer at 10.41. Today we study a little bit late because we start our class at 10.30, all right? Okay. You can read the whole text here and answer six questions. Thank you.
OK, now let's try to answer this question together. Um, so when I call your name, please read the question and give the answer. I'm really sorry for those who I mean, I do not call them often. And I'm so sorry for those who I call very often as well. Because I cannot call those who who just, you know, being quiet all the times. And I just appreciate those who help me a lot with the answer. OK, so question number one, I think I would like to start with Mr. Dara. Why? Number one, why did King help to build the Peter Graham so much right? Uh, because he lost the game. Yes, because he lost the game, right? All right, so he lost the game and the amount of right he has to pay the ball on every square. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, then number two, number two, I would like to call um, Mari. Okay, Marie is not available, so I will call the night. Not the night, teacher. I'm a night. Oh, my night, sorry. Um, moral loss is a modern example of type of growth. Grow what? Grow. I don't know, teacher. Grow. Yeah. yeah. Can you read the sentence here? Oh, it said that the power of computer microsoft the ball every 18 months. Yes, it said that the power of computer, uh, power of computer microchip the balls every 18 months. Just like this one, it the ball every square. One, two, three, right? The ball, the ball. Okay, number three. Um, Bupan. Number three, uh, smartphone has more memory. Okay, thank you very much. Smartphone has more memory. Number four, Suchita. Yes, Tal. Yeah. Number four. Number four. Okay, so Liming, number four, please. Okay, so Li Li Tahua, number four. All right. Okay, number four, because computer are faster, right? Computer are faster. Okay, number five, Dara again. Uh, how many people go to university in the UK and in the Finland? People go to university in the Finland is 40 person and in the Finland is 80 person. Great, thank you very much. And number five, the la number six, the last one, do you have the answer? Dara, do you have the answer for number six? I'm, I'm not sure my answer. But you can try. Number six, why is research now published more quickly? Because there is a, a great a, a great competition. Yeah, competition. Yeah, competition for what? For uh, between the research uh, department for funding for money, OK? OK, uh, thank you very much. I'm not going to continue our lesson right now. We're going to end with this. But what I hope that you do after this, I want you to practice reading this article right, as many times as possible. And I want you to practice doing this exercise again here, right? so that you're going to be sure uh, with yourself, with the lessons, and you know where you uh, can do, where you cannot do, and you can ask me questions in the next in next week lecture okay guys thank you very much now if you can have a break and uh, good luck bye bye
Yeah, bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.